Okay, this is orientation 77, study tips lesson 26, read with interest and passion. This is so important. You know, when you're happy and excited and enthusiastic, you've got dopamine and serotonin working for you, which are two very uh, good hormones in the brain. And so if you can actually fake it, uh, that you're interested in, in science or interested in history or interested in math or English, even when you're not, be enthusiastic about it. Try and catch a little bit of excitement from somebody else about the subject and to dig into it. You know, sometimes parents can help kids uh, with a little bit of enthusiasm and help at giving a reward system. Uh, but also, when you succeed at something and you continue to succeed at something, it, you get that serotonin and dopamine and, and you kind of get hooked on that feeling that of success. And so I would encourage parents to encourage their students by a little bit of a reward system, not a constant thing, but just a little bit of a reward for something perhaps that a child doesn't particularly have an interest in or want to do. And once he has done that and he has a reward for it, then continue that for a little bit until the success has built up to the point that he can carry on from there that he has that serotonin and that dopamine, the, those, those pleasure hormones as it were, because of the success he has had. And also, you know, there is a uh, verse in Ether, I believe it's the 12th chapter of Ether, that talks about how the Lord can make our weaknesses, our strengths. Well, ask him, ask him to help you I want to, re to tell you about a situation when I was a young girl. Um, I was trying to read the Old Testament. And I'm sorry, but after the stories of Jesus and his miracles and everything that was uh, surrounding him, the Old Testament was like dry. It was like mothballs in my mouth or, t or cotton batting in my mouth. I mean, it was bleh, you know. I just couldn't handle it. And so... I knew that I needed to finish reading it. So I got down on my knees and asked Heavenly Father for help. Please make it interesting to me. Please help me to have, to enjoy this. And what happened was really quite remarkable. I started, as I read the stories, I started to see them in my mind. It was just like a movie was going in my head. And I was in the story and I was there on the village street and I saw Elijah, I saw Moses, I saw these other prophets, I saw um, David uh, slay Goliath, etc. That type of thing. And it was, it was really because I could see in my mind, because that's how Heavenly Father helped me. I know he'll help you too. And uh, as I said, once you get a success built up in a subject, it kind of carries you through. But to begin with, ask your parents and ask Heavenly Father to help you be interested and find something about the subject that really excites you. That's my tip for today.